We are almost to Venge. Try, I'm trying to skirt around it. Yep. Yep, Okran, help us. Ah, Venge. This is where the gutters come to hunt for spiders. I'm gonna tone down the voice a little bit. Not a safe place to be. I'm gonna tone down the voice a bit. Uh, what's a gutter? It means beak things. That's what they're supposed to be called. Oh, right. Beak things. Wait. Spiders? Uh, Mew doesn't like spiders. I've already established that. No? So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to skirt Venge by cutting through like the border here of Grey Desert and uh, Deadlands. Who's everyone following, by the way? Oh, no, okay. Let's not go in the water. If that's Deadlands water, there's a chance that's going to be acidic. Very, very acidic water. You do not want to stand, swim, or drink that. I wonder if in Kenshi 2 they'll have a, uh, a thirst meter. Oh, God. Blood spiders. They do look pretty hurt, though. Might be able to take them on. All right, put down Crazy Bill. Uh, what am I doing? Medic? No, no, not medic. Attack freaking things. Wait, Hammett, what are you doing? Oh, everyone's on freaking passive. All right, turn passive off. Uh, except for you, Crazy Bill, you can you can stay passive. Uh, Crazy Bill, could you not? All right, we took out the spiders. Were these adults? Yeah, they were adults, but they were pretty much already hurt. Hungry bandits. There's a lot of hungry bandits. And there's beak things around here. Yep, beak things right over there. All right, Ruka, you're going to have to drop me you. I don't think these hungry bandits are going to be much of a challenge, honestly. Just don't get too close. I know I saw beak things around here somewhere. Last thing I want is for them to come sneaking up on us. Yeah, we did pretty good, actually. Like, I hurt here because I think we got hit by a beam? Like, one, one of the lasers? I didn't see it touch down though, which was kind of strange. Go see what these beak things are fighting. Garu. Holy mo The Garu managed to take out a beak thing. Discovered Smuggler's Bar. Oh, that sounds promising. Alright, let's go over to the Smuggler's Bar. We can rest up and heal there. Well, looky here. Found a bar out in the middle of nowhere. Owned by the Grey Flayers at that. Oh, yeah, my swampy brothers. It's good to be here. See anyone in here? Go upstairs, get everyone in bed. I'm actually not doing too bad. Uh, how much? Oh. Free beds. Oh, even better. Yeah, it's not costing us anything. All right. Oh, let's just pass some time here healing up. All right, everyone's all healed up. Go downstairs real quick, see what we got down here. Hey, barman, what you got? 
You've got 3k. That is not a lot. You do have blood rum, though. Uh, at plus 25%. Yeah, that's not happening. Should we grab some Gohan? No, I think we got plenty of food in here. Yeah. Uh, here, we can start unloading some of this stuff, though. Alright, let's keep heading down to, uh... Yeah, back down to Shark. Unload the roam that, uh, unload, unload the roam that we picked up from the desert. Got a beak thing over here fighting, uh, a wandering shinobi. Oh, he's a tech hunter. Yeah, tech hunter will probably take on a, uh, beak thing, no problem. It'd take a while, but he'll hack him down eventually. Really? Hungry bandits? All right, let's go ahead and put down, put down Crazy Bill. Uh, can I get out of there, please? Thank you. Right, Crazy Bill, you get out of there, too. Let's start training melee up. There we go, not a bad fight. Got a few licks in, but even my, uh... Yeah, melee attack, melee defense. Starting to go up there. Oh man, Dr. Chung, that left arm is not looking good. So I found a small village of settled nomads. So I had to check it out. See what they got here. Got a... Nomad animal shop. Oh. Oh, it's just full of animals. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, an animal townie. Yeah, a good pack animal if you want to survive the traveling life. Show me what you got. You got some goats. You got a lot of goats. You got goats, one garu, some pack bull, wild bulls, and bone dogs. I don't need any animals. Uh, sell bags though. Ah, he's got no money. Here. You can have those th teeth. You're welcome. <sighs> Alright, Ruka, let's get out of here. Oh, there's some sort of camp right here. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, shoot. Oh, God. Oh, Hammett, you may be done for, my friend. I don't I don't think there's anything we can do, but... All right, try and fight it. Oh, this is not going to go well. The only, only thing we can do is try and fight it, otherwise we're all dead. Charuk is out. Come on, keep going for the stomach, guys. It's bloody... It's, holy shit, we actually did it. We beat a beak thing. Alright, how's Ruka doing? She's fine. Damn, it got pretty beat up. Chung almost lost an arm. Wait, now is there spiders? One thing I like about having Miyu in your party is she will scream about spiders. Where are the spiders at? I don't see any spiders. Alright, beak thing. Take all that. Uh, we have three cooked meat left. So let's go ahead. We'll throw down some camps. Throw down some campfires. And if you didn't know, when you got one inventory open, you can press this little circle button here. Click on another character, open their inventory, and that way you can have two inventory windows open to transfer stuff back and forth really easy. Right click for a single, shift right click for a full stack. Just a little tip in case you didn't know that. Right, let's get out of here. Let's get down to Mudtown. Another useful thing to keep in mind is you have your run speed located right here. Open this up. 
see your current run speed. Find the slowest member, probably be me. So 16, Rook is at 14. So and have everyone follow the slowest member. That way you don't really have to worry about your, because if you click, if you click everyone and you set your run speed to the group run right here, this little icon, people can tend to uh, split up and get lost. But if you have it on your fastest individual run speed right here and you just fo have everyone follow the slowest member, much less likely to get lost and split up. And that is a lot of hungry bandits right there. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. Never mind. We'll just leave you all alone. Uh, let's give them a wide berth. And there's another gutter right there. Uh, maybe. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. It already saw him. Okay, let's just watch this little showdown right here. Let's see how many things is, how many of these hungry bandits this beak thing can take on. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, I'm noping the hell right on out of there. <laughs> oh, that is so many of them. Yeah, y'all y'all go have fun with that beak thing. Please leave me alone. Especially since we're already beaten up from that uh the last beak thing. Okay, okay, now this many we can probably take on. Alright, they're starting to trail off. Alright, please piss off. Okay, this this many, this many we can take on, no problem. Alright, grab everyone. Yeah, this many shouldn't be a problem. But that whole, I don't know, like, mob of them. There's like 30 of them there. And every little bit of combat is just a chance to make your character stronger. Oh, Rook is down. Me is down. Uh, I'm going to have to put Crazy Bill down and also throw my backpack off. You know what? Crazy Bill, you get in there too. So hungry bandits are great to get early practice in on. Uh, mostly because their weapons are blunt, so you don't have to worry about bleeding out. It'll do damage to the limbs. That's all blunt damage. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Get back here. Patch everyone up. Uh, and you're, uh, you gotta be careful with any crossbowmen because they have a terrible habit of as soon as this like immediate fight right here is done their aggro range they'll go like way over here to this fight with the beak thing and the other guys so careful with that uh is everyone up everyone's up okay cool uh yeah we still need to get to mud though ah back in the swamps as they say there's no place like home uh, hello? No, that's just Mio. Okay, I thought that was like a dust bandit or something that was chasing us from the... <gasps> Swamp turtle! Alright. This time the hunting came to us. I'll take that swamp turtle down. We'll have meat for days. Oh, just 14? That was a lot more than 13. Ah, and here we are. Back in mud. Good old mud town. All right, let's hit the bar. Take a nice little rest. Wait for the shops to open up tomorrow. Let's see, we got anyone in here? Silvershade. Just who I was looking for. Alright, so while we wait for them to finish healing up, we're gonna go do a little trading. 
How much are y'all buying rum for here? 126. Oh, that is so good. Oh, oh. All right. Can we sell any of this other random garbage? Nope, we cleaned this guy out. What's up, Hiver? You hear that? Uh, what? The crowd. Barely hear myself think in this bar. A lot of people hate crowds, but me? Love them. Can't seem to shake the feeling of loneliness ever since I left the hive. So it comforts me. Well, I can imagine. Must be tough. Sleeping, eating, breathing the same air as your colony every day becomes a habit. Feels naked being apart from that collective. I treasure my freedom every day, but habit. It's a hard thing to break. Damn. I'm rambling on. Sorry to talk your ear off, Romer. Guess I'm getting a little reflective today. Yeah, that's alright. Brings the next hiver here, anyway. Gone and worked up a debt at the casino. Big boss said he'd break my legs if I didn't pay him back at the end of the week, so... Here I am. Selling my soul to pay off my debt. I like my legs, after all. Oh, how much is your debt? 3,000 cats. Hey, I'll pay it for you. Just come along with us. Can. Great. I'll prove my use to you. <clears throat> there we go. Good old Silver Shade. Hive Prince. Very good at ranged. Very good at thievery. Also good at first aid and science. There we go. Welcome aboard, Silver Shade. Welcome aboard. Uh, he comes with two med kits as well, so we'll throw him on medic. He's on medic. Yeah, I want my medics to get training. I'll throw someone else on medic if we need, uh, if like everyone goes down or something like that, you know? All right, back in shark where it all began. So this time you're here to make big on our trade. Uh, look at all these guys. What are these guys all doing here? Hell no, I saw another hover. Just as it started getting stale in here, a newbie comes strolling in. How about a little wager, eh? You and me. Chew a green fruit off a guy's head from half a mile away and you pay off my bar tab. Jim will do it. He's drank so much sake, he'd agreed to sell his own mother right now. Uh, really? Well, let, let's not do that. Hey, you're no fun. So you're a gunner. Hell, you're looking one of the best shooters in the swamps. Hone my skills working on a smuggler base till my crew got wiped out by skull collectors. Old Cran have mercy on their souls. Well, damn, now you got me spouting religious crap. Look. Hey, you fancy shooting for me? What? Quit my days shooting green fruit off of heads? Look, I already failed my crew before. Life hold up in a bar is actually starting to grow on me. Yeah, we all fail sometimes. No one's perfect. Join me. Sip on their drink. You don't want to spend your days a bar fly. Alright, I'll shoot for you. I wasn't kidding about paying off my bar tab, you know. You want my turret skills, you're gonna have to fork the bill. 2300 cats. Deal. Appreciate it. With that, we got two hivers in the crew. Silver shade and green. Now, green wasn't kidding. Green comes with, seven, with uh, 65 in crossbows, 78 in turrets. Unfortunately, he also comes with a one in precision shooting. What are we up to? 16,000 cats? About to make that number go up. How much money you got? 22,000? What do you buy rum for? 126? That's pretty good. Clean you out too. You can have all this stuff. Is that 86? Nope. Enjoy all of that. What are we at? 36k. 36,000 cats. Alright. Well, I think it's time that we go, uh... 
talk to somebody influential here in the swamp. Oh, we found one more gentleman here in the swamp to recruit. You are eyeballing me? Uh, no, you were eyeballing me. I was? Sorry, I got bulgy eyeballs. Need a merc? Got mad sword skills, you know. Oh, uh, really? Well, about average. Whatever. What? Is this an interrogation? What'd you say? 5,000 cats. It's like, alright, you're hired. Let's crack some skulls. Righto, Stubbs. Stubbs, have you seen ears around? I'm trying to find ears. I don't know where he's gotten off to. There you are, ears. Hey, Victor. You managed to scrounge up Big Grim's consultation fee yet? You bet your ears. Well, let's see it then. You know the deal. 2,000 cats, you get an audience with Big Grim. Deal. Consider it done, Victor. Go see Big Grim. Finally. Alright, now we got the clear to go see Big Grim. Well, hello there, Big Grim. Victor, eh? Heard you got something to say to me. Go. I want to join the hounds. Do, eh? Well, you want to join the hounds, you got to work for the hounds. You in? You out, newbie. Go. I'm in. Alright, pup. Sending you on a little smuggling mission. Gonna take these packages, gonna dump them in the UC. Ain't gonna get caught. Ain't gonna bring me back my profits. If you ain't back in a week, I'll kill you. Somehow I feel like she means that. So we're gonna get everyone uh, healed up over the bar. Stubs and green, uh, that legs aren't looking so good. And then what we're gonna do is instead of going all the way back up to the desert again, I'm gonna come down here to the hook. I'm gonna drop this off right here in Clown Steady. Uh, she didn't specify which you see. So we're gonna opt for the closer one. Start making our way down here. Clown Steady. Ah, the southern wetlands. This is a truly beautiful place here. Wouldn't mind living here one day. We'll just do a little hunting on some swamp turtles. Then we'll head down to Clown Steady. How do you even take damage from a, uh, from a swamp turtle? Huh. What do we got? 65 meat. What do we got? Swamp ninjas. Swamp ninjas ain't the friendliest sort. And we are certainly not going there anytime soon. Passing by pretty close to these swamp ninjas. It's alright. They want any smoke, we can give it to them. That's what I thought. Y'all just mind your own business. Yeah, I need to slow Ruka down a bit. Alright. I'm gonna drop Bill. I'm gonna drop Bill. Ruka can be on Bill carrying duty. Ruka. Put down Bill. Who do we have here? Red Sabres. What, just one of them? Where's the rest of your crew, boy? Oh, crazy. You think you could take all of us? Where's the rest of your crew? Oh, they're over there. <laughs> hey, Silver Shade, you needed some gear, right? Yeah, here you go. There you go, Silver Shade. Oh, now you're like super slow. Ooh, we 
we got a whole brawl going on here now. I got Miu right here. Oh, and we got Swamp Ninjas in on it. And the Swamp Turtles. Yeah, look at that. Oh, geez, we got... We got these guys coming in from the back. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, green, you stand behind me. I can at least pull out a sword if these guys get too close. Alright, I need to make sure at least I'm still standing by the end of this so I can start patching people up. Now everyone's down. Oh. Hold on, get this guy out of my way. Is this a Chunin? It is a Chunin, that's why. Alright, how many bolts do I have left? Not many. Uh, let's see, do any of these guys have a crossbow? Sometimes the Sand Ninjas will have a crossbow. Alright, well it's just me and this, and this Swamp Chunin. Oh, he's down. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, grab his weapon. Here, grab that too. Is this another tuning? No, that's a beginning. Alright. Medic duty. I have to take all these weapons. I can start patching people up now. Silver Shade was dying. Anyone else? <sighs> Crazy Bill. Crazy Bill. Oh, first aid Crazy Bill. Ooh, that was close. Alright, anyone else dying? Uh, green is dying. Alright. First aid on green. What are you doing? Get out of here. That was a nice brawl, though. And with the herd of swamp turtles in the background, too. Man, that was really cool. Another one? Are you serious right now? Uh, hello? Oh, God. More blood spiders. Tchuh. All right. Thank you, blood spiders. Uh, who lost limbs? Hammett lost a left arm. Chung lost a left arm. Nice. So you want in on the shinobi, eh? Guards try to lay the crack down, but they ain't fooling nobody. And nothing. Nothing a few cats can't handle. You all want to join the shinobi thieves? You can join. For a fee. Uh, that's it? I have to complete a test or prove myself or something? Don't look like I got time for handing out busy work. Nah, this is a business we're running. Not a social club. It's a one-time membership fee. 10000 So what'll it be? Wanna join the guild? Yeah, sign me up. Welcome, brother. To the Shinobi Thieves. I don't plan on doing much thieving, but, uh... It's the only way to deal with Big Grimm's mission. Where are you at, backpack thief? Show you, let's trade. Uh, let's see. You don't really want to sell things to these guys because anything you sell or buy is marked down 50%. Like, I'll sell this for 365. I'll hardly get anything for selling that. Woo, yay. So, really, the only way to make it profitable is to go up to the northern UC cities. You can sell them here, and there is a markup for them. But it's not, it's not profitable at all. Let's see, I'm gonna swing in here in this ranger shop. All right, let's see. What can we afford here? What is that, Eagle's Cross? Are you serious? 
Specialist Spring Bat. That could be nice. That's a lot of damage, too. But I'm still hitting my own teammates. So we're just going to grab a whole bunch of toothpicks. There we go. Ten toothpicks. And maybe I can get a higher quality, a masterwork toothpick. What is that? 13,000? Accuracy deviation. 6.25. Nine. Uh, green, what quality is yours? Oh, you have a junk bow. Oh, gross. Okay, yeah, get rid of that junk bow. I'll give you a toothpick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a standard ranger. I'm going to get a standard ranger. And I'm going to get some regular bolts. There we go. And green can have my standard toothpick. And all of those bolts. Now, here's where a backpack comes in handy. Ooh, Crazy Bill has three whole toughness now. And three melee attack, three melee defense. <laughs> I wish you could see where its age was. I mean, it's like 13 days old because I set it at, you know, one day old on day one. Honestly, I just kind of like chilling in regular speed. Enjoying the environments. Hey, look at that. And there we were. Broken. Bruised. Missing arms. But overall, we were still getting stronger. I'd say it wasn't a bad day. It wasn't a great day. It could have been worse. We still made a decent profit in the end of it, too. I think tomorrow, gotta go finish doing that uh, job for Big Grim. See what else she has in store for us. As always, we keep our eye out for decent opportunities. Thank you all for joining us today, Drifter. Hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time. Take care now.